Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Day 40, December 29th. Day 40, 40 days, and I haven't killed a buck yet. So if you break that down, I figure that's probably 60 trips to the tree stand or to the ground blind. You know, the early season was only evenings and the late season's been only evenings, but all through the rut, it was mornings and evenings. And I always figured over the years that for every 20 trips, I should have an encounter with some, with some sort of shooter buck. So I've had one encounter, that was back on the 11th of December, uh, shot the buck I was after, wasn't able to kill him, he got away, didn't find him. So that's been it, 60 trips with one encounter. And uh, I guess you could almost count the one from back in, I think it was late November when that big eight pointer was down in that bottom field, 50 yards from the blind. I mean, another 10 yards closer, and I, I probably would have been taking a shot there, but uh, so that's almost, so that's an almost. Uh, but so overall, I'd say it's been a little bit slower than most years. I think the slowest I've ever seen was 2014. I had uh, 50 days and didn't draw my bow, didn't even shoot a doe that year. That was a couple years after the EHD went through. So I've seen worse seasons than this for sure. And there's some nice up-and-comer bucks, so it's not like it's been a, a wasted season by any means. Every day in the blind or in the tree stand is a lot of fun. It's just a little bit more fun when you're seeing uh, decent bucks from time to time. Tonight we're going after the one that we've sort of kept on the back burner all season long. And it's this deer that I call the tube buck. We saw him the very first evening we went out in this same spot we're going to. It's a redneck blind down in this valley right on the edge of a... A ditch where, a, where there's a crossing on the ditch with a tube in it and that's how the spot got its name and since we you know first encountered that deer at this spot we've called him the tube buck so we're going after the tube buck at the tube and uh, he's been real daylight active this whole season got a lot of trail camera pictures of him uh, we've seen him a couple times down here so you know the chances of having a crack at that buck this evening is actually pretty good it's 19 degrees pretty low wind speed. We should be able to get into that blind and and uh, have a pretty good hunt this afternoon, I believe. But like I said, we're celebrating day 40. And uh, hopefully we can celebrate the day in style and get the tube buck before the evening's over with. About 40 minutes left in the afternoon hunt, and uh, the highlight of the afternoon has been listening to the college football playoff on my cell phone, uh, deer-wise. It's been a complete blank. I can't remember the last time I went deer hunting on this farm and didn't see a single deer. Uh, we still got 40 minutes left to change that, but it just doesn't have a very good feel to it right now. So I think that I'm going to take tomorrow off and uh, 
just kind of regroup a little bit, hang out with the family, and then uh, start shifting into the doe do killing mode starting next week. I think our son, uh, Drew, would like to get into act a little bit with the gun. And uh, so some of these spots that we've been protecting and, and not hunting very much, we'll probably get into them a little bit harder now with the gun and try to get some does killed. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep hunting bucks with my bow. And we're not going to give up on that for sure, but it's time to get a little bit more aggressive uh, with the doe killing and get the gun out. So it uh, should be a lot of fun. Hopefully Monday we can bring you some faster action.